can make no guarantees, but I hope that that has sorted out at least some of the uh, juddering and frame rate issues here. Like, I'm not getting them on my uh, machine. It is absolutely the stream, and I'm pretty sure it's not the internet, because everything else on the internet is working fine. Uh, and I have a pretty, last I checked, my, you know, upload speeds weren't bad. So, hopefully, fingers crossed, hopefully that's sorted it. Now let me just check that the stream is actually up. Hey, there we go. Good, oh, good, 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 good. Okay, so, let's, ooh, I can enter the captain's quarters. I wanted to do this because I read that, oh, you can actually, because I thought when you created your character, um, that she would, or he or she, would just appear as this, like, little avatar, or as an avatar icon in other places. But apparently, if you go to the captain's quarters, then you can actually see your character up and wandering about. So, I'm just going to see if that's true. Because I'm a massive nerd, and want to make sure that I'm not missing out on anything cool. Uh, what? Yeah! What, what? There she is, Sassy Molassi Julie Chinru. That's cool. That's cool. Very happy with this. Awesome. Ah, and then you just walk her around like this. Now, of course, it is potato quality. But, you know, needs must. So, uh, let's... Back to the ship hangar. I don't need to be in here. Good, 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 good. So let's just undock, I guess. Let's go. Okay, just clearing some Please stuff off your phone. marker icon in the info panel to set your destination to the neighboring system. Um, which one? Absolutely. No, 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 no. Oh, right, down here. Okay, so I need to set the destination click there. Okay. Now you should select the highlighted autopilot button. This will start your ship moving to oh. the destination system. Okay. Autopilot engaged. Once cool. your ship comes to a stop in the next system, click on the location marker icon in the info to Stargate. This will take you to the research outpost. Oh, okay. Cool. So, what am I selected on? This one? Yes. Okay. Ah. Now, how would I know to go there if I didn't have that mission thing telling me to go there? Hmm. So, once your ship comes to a stop in the next system, click on the location marker icon in the info panel. This will take you to the research outpost. Alright, fine, cool. Let's, uh, let's give it a go, I guess. Well, thank God for warp drive, right? Okay, so I've got this uh, data analyzer. And what am I looking for? Research outpost. Approaching Stargate. Oh. So. Jump. Okay. So, I guess just use this. Frankly, fucking awesome Stargate. That looks very cool. Like that is no, I'm not getting the whole uh, SG-1 or the uh, Stargate movie vibe out of this. It's actually very interesting. I say that as if I didn't like Stargate. I absolutely love this series. <laughs> okay, so... Ooh, okay. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Cool. know what's happening now. Like, my ship is a ghost ship. 
Was I not supposed to go through there? Warp drive active. Okay, I'm warping to this location. Where am I going? Look on the location marker icon in the info panel. I'm looking for this. No? You know, you should consider yourself lucky, recruit. Even though the Galente Federation is vast and contains hundreds of star systems, many people never even get off their home planet. Not only that, but you were on your way to becoming an independent capsuleer, able to pilot your own ships. That's a very special status, recruit. Earn it. Here we are, recruit. You're about to take a step into a dead zone. No pilot in your position has ever been allowed to enter a place like this. Okay. The fact is, these sites are always placed in some of the strangest and most obscure areas of New Eden. And in fact, I have no idea what you are about to encounter here. Keep your eyes open. Captain, oh. you should now approach the gate. When you are close enough, Hold down your left mouse button on the gate and select activate from the radial menu. Okay, let's do that then. Alright, uh, let's just put on the old afterburners, get there a little, get a little uh, sharpish. When I get there, activate the gate. Okay. Now, of course, it wants me to activate the radial menu selected from there, but I can just, you know, right-click and go Bosch, activate gate, or Bosch, activate gate, or D, activate gate. <laughs> a lot of options. A lot of options in this game. Okay, so I'm uh, So, activate gate, I guess. Yeah? Warp drive active. Okay. Did I activate the gate? I think I did. Oh, okay. Wow. Um, this does not look good. Doesn't look fantastic. This is worse than I expected. Another fleet destroyed. Mm. The drifters have been allowed to go too far. I need to know what happened here. We had no word at all that a fleet was in combat at this location. All I know is there should be a Sisters of Eve outpost there. Let's hope it's intact and hold some answers. Make your way to it now, but stay alert for hostiles. Captain, this site is quite unusual, and it is enormous. In order for you to save time, you might want to activate your afterburner to travel faster through it. Yeah. However, stay alert, because this is uncharted territory. The Sisters of Eve have been doing some unusual research here, which does not show up in records accessible to me. We don't know what the Drifters were doing here. Be very careful, Captain. Okay. Well, this is nice. You should locate the info shard on your overview and approach it. Approach with caution. Okay, can do. Continue so, to approach the info shard. Put on we the need you to keep in close proximity. Remember to stop your ship when you reach the shard. Will do, it's gonna take me a bit. Hmm. Well, why do I have a feeling that I'm about to get ambushed? Several times. Because it's gonna take me a fair old time to get there. Uh, you see, this is why I wanna be a miner. Just want to get in, mine some stuff, and, you know, make some money. Join a corporation, mine for them. Make them happy. You know, a simple life. None of this all oh, very dangerous info gathering about the Sisters of Eve and going into, like, you know, obvious ambush sites. I mean, seriously. Okay, um, whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, well, don't do that. I 
wanted to do was uh, move that, but I can't. Good, good, uh, good, wonderful. Uh, let's approach the shard. And yes, I'll start the ship when I get there, it's just going to take me a while. Uh, well, I guess this is Eve, isn't it? Warp in, go somewhere, nice and slow. And then, uh, you know, get what you need. Like, I'm really expecting an ambush at some point. Like, seriously, there's got to be an ambush at some point. They can't expect you to go this far without something happening, right? He says, naive to the ways of Eve. <laughs> naive. That was terrible. <laughs> But I make no apologies. It's quite eerie out here. It's me and my ship. A weird shaped ship. Seriously, why would you design a ship that is this shape? I don't know what like tactical benefits you get from this. But what benefits all you get from a shape like this? Like this is just a weird shape. Ooh, did not want to do that. I also don't rightly know why uh, the stream is shuddering so much. Recruit, your sensor feed is showing some strange signatures circling the outpost. But I can't get a clear image. Can you see anything unusual around the outpost? Um... Maybe the drifters are generating interference. Watch yourself. You're my only set of eyes and ears out there. Captain, for your ears only. I am afraid the drifters may have hacked our outpost. Oh dear. That could give them access to ship FTL comms and navigation systems we've been developing. Oh good. Theoretically, it might give them access to some of the ships we've installed prototypes in. It looks like our outpost is relatively intact. You are going to have to try to hack into its mainframe to extract some information on what happened here. Okay, right. Captain, if the outpost is still intact, it will have to be hacked. It's a good thing you prepared by bringing a data analyzer. Right. Hacking is a delicate process, but mastering it can give you access to a lot of wealth in some Let's of the deep and hidden pockets of New Eden. Let me walk you through the process. Okay. So, here I am. Well, Captain, you should like now lock targets on the info shard. All right, let's uh, lock that target. It's like, just right here, so it should be okay. You should now activate the civilian data analyzer on the info shard. Okay, let's turn off those afterburners. I don't need those going. Oop, okay. You are now attempting to hack into the info shard. Okay. You should select encrypted nodes until you locate the system core. After you click a node, the numbers that appear will indicate your proximity to the core. You may come across defensive software on your route. You should click on it until you deactivate the firewall. Okay. Right, so let's give this a go. Bosh. Uh, Bosh. I'm five away, right. Four away. Let's just keep going down here. Three, okay. Two. Okay, one. So, it's either going to be that one or that one. Is that it? No. Oh, cool. Awesome. Now yes. you have successfully hacked into the info shard, you should retrieve the cargo. Okay. Opening that cargo. Guess I've got to get a bit closer. It's very ominous. Like, super ominous. Unknown sequence. Right. Yeah, that's not uh, worrying. What in the name of... The site just lit up like Crystal Boulevard. Professor Tanner, have you ever seen anything like this? Is this your tech? No, Fleet Commander. I have never seen anything like this before. I suggest the Captain get out of there as fast as possible. Yeah, that sounds like a good no idea. No question about that, Professor. Recruit. Our tripwire sensor net just picked up a giant drifter fleet on course for your location. I don't know what you just activated, but it's calling up a storm. 
She may only be a scientist, but I agree with the professor's assessment. Get out before that storm arrives. Will do. Click the location marker icon in the info panel to travel to a safe First spot. Drive active. Yeah, that uh, looks like a good idea to get the hell out of Dodge. Oof. Okay, oh, so this is the info panel. It's just the overview. Bear that in mind. Okay, so I think, uh, I think we're okay. Recruit, if I hadn't seen you pull off some impressive stunts already, I'd suspect you of being some kind of double agent. What you've uncovered here is a feast of intelligence. The data that you just extracted looks like it includes key codes to activate the jump gate to the Drifter Hive's location. Oh. If you can get these to our fleet, we could use them to unlock the gate to the Hive. <laughs> you are going to be the toast of the fleet. Sounds good. Captain, cool. congratulations on finding the Drifter gate codes. That is amazing work. The Drifters must have been trying to link our outpost to their network through that gate. But there's something else that worries me. I navigated through some of the data when you brought me the mainframe online, and it's worse than I thought. Okay. I suspect the Drifters may have hijacked one of the capital ships carrying our prototype systems. In their hands, it poses a great threat. Hmm. Luckily, the ship may be vulnerable to stasis webbing. It could slow it down to a halt. Captain, I'm going to upload to Aura instructions on how to fit your ship with a stasis webifier the next time you're in station. That will improve your capabilities out there. Okay. Recruit. Our comms keep getting blocked by Professor Tannen. I hope you're extracting some useful intel on the drifters and not indulging in gossip about hollow actors. Oh, you bitch. No, but seriously, I want to show you something. I'm sending Aura some coordinates. Get there soon, Recruit. I think you're going to like this. Oh, really? Captain, the commander has uploaded the location of the forward operating base. This should prove interesting. Okay. Click on the location marker icon in the info panel to travel to the forward operating base. Warp drive. Will do. Onwards, I guess. I do like the older uh, specie backgrounds. It's quite nice. Alright, where are we going? Into this forward operating base. See what's uh, going down there. Yeah. Okay. Captain, the gate. When you are close, no. use the radial menu to activate the gate to enter the forward operating base. All right, will do. Let's activate this old gate. Warp drive active. Oh snap! Okay. Um, what is that? Oh, I'm just being shoved down here. Okay, so all right, fine. No idea what that was. Oh. Oh wow. Behold, a swift spearhead of the Galente Federation. Our fleet. The strike force that will take the fight to the drifters. Dreadnoughts, battleships cruisers and frigates are all being prepared for action at our Ostrahus Citadel forward operating base. All soon to be equipped with the gate key codes you recovered, which will land our fleet in their front yard. Recruit, I don't usually do this, but it's going to take a few minutes to upload the jump gate keys from your mainframe. I suggest you fly down there and introduce yourself. The way a few of the captains have been talking, you're a lucky charm. And I'd like that luck to rub off. Okay, and fine. enjoy the perspective while you can. If you make Naval Capsuleer, you might command any one of these ships someday. I can tell you they're even more interesting when you're in control. Aura, help our favorite recruit get a clear sense of the power on display before us. Is this him? 
this the pilot that saved the research crew and found the gate codes? Captain, the assembled strike force includes several ship classes you'll often encounter in New Eden. Okay. Damn, recruits. Took me six months before I posted my first confirmed kill. You can take a closer look at any of the ships by using the radial menu to select Look At. Remember to refocus your camera by right-clicking and select Look At My Ship. Okay, well, yeah, let's, uh... Now fly over and join the battleship group on parade in front of the Citadel. Wow. Let's, uh... Oops, zoom in a bit so we can actually get some textures going. Nice. Very cool. Okay, I guess uh, just go and approach that. Also look at my ship. Oof. Now that is a big bastard. Jeez. Yeah, I'm impressed. Alright. Impressive display of force. So, I'm going to go over here and just join this battleship group. You know, just take a closer look at all these guys, because I'm such a good space person. I guess. How far away am I? No, oh, okay. This is not in here, so... Okay. Maybe we get nice and close, I'll just hit uh, stop so that we stop before slamming into anything. Hey, recruits, our crew's been talking about you non stop today. All right, all right, fleet, calm down. Our hero of the hour is going to stick Oops. around while we upload the key codes from his ship. Then the Federation has a special surprise for him back at base. The Galente take care of their heroes. Am I right, fleet? Captain, the upload okay. is going to take a while. In the meantime, take a look at our Astrohus forward operating base. Oops. It's a citadel type structure. Citadels are the biggest structures in New Eden that capsules can build. These massive cities are quite the sight to look at. Since you have to kill some time while the key codes are uploading to the fleet, you have a perfect opportunity to practice some of your maneuvering skills. Sure. You can try manual piloting by double-clicking anywhere in space, or you can use the arrow keys on your keyboard for a unique piloting experience. Yeah, okay, you can actually just, uh... When you are ready, fly uh. to the forward point, next to the Dreadnought-class vessel. Okay, now... Hmm. Okay, so, uh, arrow keys aren't working, so, we just, you know, look look over here, I'm stuck on something. Oh, okay. Ah, okay, so it just, you just go, and then, uh, as you pitch and yaw, Okay, so, alright, fair enough, okay. Hang on this a bit. Okay, uh, let's go up a bit. To the right, yeah. And then down and to the left. So we can get back over to the forward point. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Manual flying. Not bad, not bad. Uh, what do we boost on those afterburners? It's going to take a while for us to get there otherwise. Yeah, yeah, it's going pretty nice, pretty well. Huh. Right that little. Just a touch. Cool. Okay, turn those off and whoop, stop the ship. Alright, recruit. The <laughs> upload is complete and the fleet is almost war ready. But while the last preparation steps are going down, I'm going to suggest you return to base and pick up that special item I was talking about a minute ago. Sounds good, doesn't it? Trust me, 
It's better than you think. This dude got me a ship. This, this guy got me a ship. When you to return to HQ, All now right. turn your autopilot engaged. Oh. When you okay. reach your destination and the autopilot switches off, click on the location marker icon to in the info panel to dock at Thank HQ. Drive active. All right, well, there you go. Autopilot, take me home. So I have no fucking idea where I'm going. Down there. Ah, interesting. Okay, so. Well, that was interesting. There was a big ass fleet. Well, I can see why there are so many big ass, like, wars and stuff in uh, EVE. Because if people can get that kind of firepower. Oof. Okay. Approaching Stargate. Coolie cool. Oh right, I'm approaching Stargate. So I've got to use the Stargate, alright. Autopilot is uh, still going, so will that just put me straight through here, Autopilot? Will you do that? What are you? I was going to say, is that customs official? In this big ass ship? That is terrifying. Oof, you best not like. Let's not avoid any. Uh... Ah, cool. Autopilot does jump. Happy days. Let's not try and smuggle anything in past those guys. Ooh. Okay. I guess I'm just waiting for everything to load in. Yeah? No? Maybe? Warp drive active. Autopilot engaged. Okay, autopilot, you do do the thing. Set. Alright, well, I press dock, so. Oh, why is this flashing? Did we get stuff? Ooh, nice. Ah, uh, right, bounty prices. Ooh. Industry facility tax. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, interesting. Okay, so you get charged for using uh, facilities to manufacture and stuff. Fair enough. Okay, that's just all the chat going. Come on, let me in. Please. Docking permission Dock. requested. Docking request accepted. Recruits, uh, I have very high standards for my trainees. If you have repeatedly exceeded them, me. I have therefore decided to approve you for participation in the counter strike against the drifters. Operation Liberty Spear. Consider this your final test before reaching Naval Capsuleer status. That's pretty cool. Now, I hope you don't think I'm going to let you go into the line with the trainees Velator class corvette you've been flying around with. No, recruit. The Galente Federation always takes care of the people who fight for its freedoms. Told you. Dude's got me a ship. I'm you with a new ship to participate in my strike operation. I think you are really going to like the added ass-kicking power it brings. I'm also right. giving you some upgraded modules to fit to it. Now, the only thing left is to acquire the skills to efficiently fly your new darling. The operation can't wait for much longer, so let's speed things up with a skill injector. Normally, these things would set you back a small fortune, but this one is on me. Okay. Fit wisely, recruit. We're heading up against an unpredictable enemy that has often surprised us. Aura, guide our recruit through using the injector. Captain, you have been awarded with a new frigate. Cool. This ship is a considerable upgrade from your corvette. Your new frigate gives you far more flexibility in how the vessel is outfitted. Really? 
For your upcoming combat, I suggest oh, using the armor burner and repair module you have already mastered. Whoa. Additionally, you have been rewarded with some upgraded modules for your ship, including a few additional weapons. Okay. They must be very impressed with you since they have also awarded you a mini skin injector. Okay. These are usually only reserved for fully qualified capsuleers. But it is my assessment that you can handle a mini injector without major risk to your limbic system. Probably. Oh, thanks, Laura. Skin thanks for the confidence there. capable of transneural scanning and can lay synaptic patterns down in new combinations with skillful data. What this means is that if you like learning fast, these are for you. Ooh. Now, let's go through how we can optimally set up your ship for the combat ahead. Yeah, let's do that. Professor Tannen has advised that you fit your ship with a stasis webifier. And you should not take that suggestion lightly, Captain. Okay. You should collect all your rewards by checking your redeemable items under the Neocom menu and inventory tab. You can move those to your item hanger by selecting them and clicking redeem selected items. Okay, is there inventory? The inventory, I guess. Uh don't see where I uh, see any un uh Ah, so you just click redeem items. Okay, so what have I got? The Incursus. The Incursus movie found both spearheading and. Oh, I, know, I have no idea how to pronounce it. Bullocking? Or oh, what? No idea. Uh, Galente military operations. Speed makes it excellent for skirmishing duties, while its resilience helps it outlast its opponents on the battlefield. Incursus class ships move together in groups and can quickly and effectively gang up on ships many times their size and overwhelm them. Hmm. In recent years, the Incursus has increasingly found its way into the hands of pirates who love its aggressive appearance. Interesting. So I've got this mini skill injector. This item could be activated at a station to grant the user unallocated skill points. Hmm. Skill injectors are consumed immediately once activated. This can only be used to raise the skill points up to a total of one and a half mil. Characters will receive 25,000 unallocated skill points. Nice! Okay, so what is this? Reduces the maximum speed of a ship by employing... Oh, reduces the maximum speed of a ship by employing micro-energy streams which effectively entangle the target temporarily, thereby slowing it down. Oh, so use that on other ships. Gotcha. Then uh, civilian Gatling railgun, nice. I mean, it's a it's a Gatling railgun. It's pretty badass. And then damage control, the damage control module, I assume. Utilizes a combination of containment field emitters and redundancy systems to mitigate the impact of critical system damage. Runs a bonus to resistance for shield armor and hull. That is very handy. Let's redeem all of those. Yes. Nice. Awesome. Open your inventory and select item hanger. There. Ah. Captain, double click on your new mini skill injector and confirm the injection. This will give you unallocated skill points that you can use to progress your training. Okay. Yes. Done. As you previously started to train for a frigate class ship, you already have a level one skill. Okay. That level unlocks the basic ability to fly your newly awarded frigate. However, since you were awarded with a skill injector, you now have the capability to quickly advance to the next level. Mm, okay. This will help you become better prepared for the upcoming battle. Ah. Open your character sheet to use your unallocated skill points. I suggest you search for frigate and drag your Empire's frigate skill into the training queue. When you've done that, find the Apply Skill Points button and click it. Your frigate skill will have advanced a level. Hang on, what do you suggest? Drag your Empire's frigate skill into the training queue. When you've done that, find the Apply Skill Points button, click it. 
your frigate skill will have advanced a level. Well, I kind of already trained that up to the second. You know. You know. <laughs> um, do I absolutely have to do this one? I guess that's what she suggests. Okay, so I've already done that. I guess I can just put it into something else that I like. Or drones. Anything in drones? Hmm. I've tried doing that one. Yeah, maybe. Possibly. Well, maybe I should just do that. Hmm. Hmm, he says. Uh, mining frigate. Could do that. Since I do want to just, you know, do mining. I mean, I know this is a suggestion, but, uh... Your friggin' skill. Sod it. Okay, fine. I've mean, already done it to the second level, though. I don't want to have to waste this on something that I may not use. I'm eyed up mining frigate. Sod it. Bosh. And... Apply skill points. No, so why don't I go... 25... Thousand. Okay, Bosh. Skill yeah. Completed. Captain, yep. it's time to use your new ship. In your inventory, select your ship hangar. There you will see you are currently in your corvette. Right click your active ship and click leave ship. Okay, cool. Well, I'm just going to shove this down here. So that that, you know, starts up afterwards, I think I might as well. And I'll just leave that to, uh, leave that to do its thing. Okay, so. Sorry, Aura, what am I doing? Okay, inventory. Select your ship. Click leave ship. Okay. Ship hanger. Good to know, where's leave ship? Leave ship. Okay. You should now right-click your new frigate and select Assemble Ship. This will finalize the last preparations and calibrate your vessel so you can pilot it. Okay, so this is my capsule that I'm in, so... Okay, so, Assemble Ship. Okay. Right-click your new ship and select Make Active. You have now boarded your new ship. Cool, done. Right click your old corvette and select repackage. This will remove the modules fitted to that ship and make it easier to transport in the future. Okay, right. So you repackage with that. Yes, I want to repackage the repackage this item. Cool. It's now time to fit your new ship with modules. Open your inventory and go to item hangar. Mhm. Mm you will want to fit weapons an afterburner, a stasis web of fire, and your repair module. To fit, right click on each of the modules and select fit to active ship. You should then open your fitting window and ensure you have everything you need fitted to your ship. Fitting now that you have prepared your ship for the fight, Captain, it is time to head into space and start the journey to the Drifter Hive Stargate. Oh, okay, so there's a fitting window. What's that open? Oh, so I guess here you can see what exactly the ship has. Okay, so let's uh, fit up that armor repair module. Let's fit that one. Okay, do I need the data analyzer? No. Uh, let's fit the afterburner. Fish bash bunch. Stasis webifier. <laughs> I've multiple weapons. Whoa, okay. Jeez. The fleet is at the gate, recruit. You know the objectives. Destroy the hive, remove the threat. With the drifter incursion pushed back, the Federal Navy can get back to securing our borders and the freedom of travel for our people. We can't really lose more resources from establishing a proper military containment of the Kaldari state. I must say that I'm hoping to learn more about the drifters from this attack. It's vital to determine why they have been attacking us and removing all survivors. 
We have lost too many citizens. All right, fair enough. You should now undock and click on the location marker icon in the info panel and then you know, activate your autopilot. You know, I will. I just want to uh, have a look. Ah, so these are turret hard points. Okay, so I have three, three in there. Okay, I've got rig slots up there. All right, fair enough, cool. So, let's do it. Let's let's do it to it. So, I will set the location. Yeah, oh, give me that. Set destination. Set the autopilot. When you reach your destination, click on the next location marker in the info panel to travel to the site. Walking to Stargate Warp Drive active. Groovy. Okay, so it's just going to take me straight there. Ah, over there. Ship doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look too bad at all. Yeah, I can live with that. Nice. So, sorry, I've got the uh, you know, BBC News up on the other on my laptop because I'm watching the results of the UK election come in. I'm sorry if I seem a little distracted. Okay, so still going. Okay, so if I want to use that, just click it. That is, gosh, if I'm in a real. I'm a real pickle, how to make that. I can heal myself. Capacitor. How do I charge that up? Autopilot jumping. Hmm. Alright, so jumping through the Stargate. Maybe it's hot today, man. I reckon I can't keep up, so... To Stargate. Warp drive active. I can set a waypoint to the same location twice. Mm, Alright then. Still going. Whoosh. Scalooza. Alright, fair enough. No idea what that is, but... Not gonna argue. And here we are. Oh, it's another Stargate. God, we're going through several. Approaching Stargate. Oh. The place is a ways away. Right, tell you what. Let's just uh, activate the old afterburner, get there a bit, a bit quicker. Yeah, don't want to waste time. How's the capacitor doing? Alright, it's doing okay. All right. Autopilot right, so that'll tick. Right, okay, so each time that ticks round, that uses up some capacitor power. So, you're kind of limited by how fast the uh, refresh rate is on that. Well, how many of these have I gone through? There's another one. Ugh. So sort out, and move, and then verge vendor. Okay. So here we are. Still going. Approaching Stargate. All right, afterburner, go. Kick it to overdrive. It's pretty cool, actually. I am enjoying this. to go and just fires you through space. 
Ah, okay, so. There we go, so, autopilot disengaged, so activate the old gold. It's by the old warp. Where are we going? Hmm. Well, wherever it is, we're here. The spatial All right, rift. Here's the gate, the spatial rift that will lead to the Drifter Hive. Oh. Our fleet just jumped in moments ago, so you'll be in good company. The best, in fact. And believe me, you are going to need it. Okay. Look, I, I just, I just wanted to be a miner. You should approach the spatial rift and activate the gate using the radial menu. Okay. Let's do this. It's after burn straight to it, because dear god, this is like a little bit intimidating. Mm. Okay, well, just remember, approach, lock, orbit, fire. I can lock on multiple things at once, so remember that as well. This stream is about to get super choppy because my CPU is terrible. So, you know, I apologize in advance. Come on, go in. You can do it, we're almost there. <laughs> oh dear. Almost. 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 Oh, come on. to make that gay. How close do I have to be? Active. Right. Okay, wow, yeah, there's a, there's a whole bunch. Welcome to the fight recruit. Let's go. Let's put on a show. You need to get out the way. Attention fleet. This is Fleet Commander Turrell. By authority of the Senate, I'm assuming tactical command of the Drifter Strike Force. So the plan is this. We will take out their fleet to clear a path to the Hive. Battleship Wings, you are the spear tip that breaks their ranks. Cruisers, support the flanks of the big boys and be ready to provide E-War support. Frigates, I need your dogfighting skills. You guys have to keep any Seekers or drones off the backs of the ships of the line and their support squadrons. Okay. Every shot will count, and I need every ship in the fight for as long as possible. Follow the lead of your commanders and maintain fire discipline. Affirmative, okay, Commander. Okay, let's uh, orbit you and... What the hell and is this place? Fire all guns. Some abominations. And they're using our people? As parts? better eliminate these monsters. This kind of atrocity is just beyond disturbing. Okay. Point commander, we are intercepting. Get to this bad boy. Approach and orbit the capital ship, then select lock target as soon as you get close to it. Oh, okay. Approach that bad boy then. Ignore that. Oh no, that is what I'm, uh, that is what I'm approaching. Alright, after that, let's go. God, this is intense. I'm actually genuinely surprised that the stream hasn't taken an entire crap. Yeah. So this is what a... Well, I assume this isn't like a massive EVE battle, but this is what the EVE, you know, fairly sizable space battle looks like. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, can't lock the target yet. I've got to get much closer. Oh, come on. Got me afterburner on and everything. I don't need you on. Okay, come on. I mean, luckily, no one's actually taking pot shots at me, so that's a plus. Well, you. You're one of ours, okay. Oh, but you're like getting absolutely... Like, is that you firing, or are you getting absolutely pounded? Bad news bears. Come on, 
1.42. After burner. Hurry up. Get me there faster. I mean, I, I do quite like having three, uh, three guns. Can't argue with that. Come on. 32. Ah, oh, good. Lock that target. Ah. Use your stasis weapon fire to slow the ship down, and then activate your primary weapons. And that I can do. So orbit. Let's go. Bosh. Stasis weapon fire. Terrible name for a weapon that should be pretty awesome. I'm trying. Come on. How close do I have to be? Move this stupid tooltip! I can't actually see when I can use this damn thing. Ah, go. Reinforcements are on their way, Captain. All right, go. Keep your All weapon three and keep firing. We need to destroy that ship. After burners off. I don't need you on. Okay, good, good, good. This is going well. Luckily, I'm not taking much damage, which is quite nice. Okay, so stasis web of fire is still going strong. That's nice. Oh dear, there's a lot of bastards coming. Oof. Okay, lot of time. Seekers. Oh, Fleet. oh, okay. We've breached their defensive lines and scattered the enemy units. Scanning the oh, hive now. Geez. All captains. Once we have this data, we'll concentrate fire on its core. All forces. Find a clear shot on the hive. Okay. Locate the hive on your overview Wait. and approach it. It's time to rejoin the fleet. Oh, Don't was forget to use just... your afterburner and stop your ship when you reach the hive. All right, fine, approach the hive. I was having fun just blowing shit up. You should now lock targets and destroy the circadian seekers near the hive. I mean, I was going to, but uh, I can't lock the targets. I'm nowhere near. Ugh, ugh, take me away from the fun I was having. Fine. Ugh. Take these guys down. What's my shield doing? Shield regen? Good, shield regen is happening, so that's a plus. Oh, it's off to burn all the way over here. Take down these bastards. How am I getting hit? They're just taking pot shots at me from way over there. That's not cool. I can't even lock the targets yet. Ugh. Rude. Incredibly rude. Okay, come on, any time. No, no, no. Okay, about 30k. 30k, there we go. And you, I will lock targets on you. And you, I will also lock targets. You, I need to orbit. And I will start taking some pot shots. Let's go. Okay, I 
I'm missing a lot, but I'm closing that distance, so hopefully they'll start getting some hits. Okay, ah, here we go. Good, 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 good. Okay, so that's you. You are absolutely down. Orbit. Go, go, go. Fire, fire, fire. Good. And you. That's all you. And fire, fire, fire. I don't know if that's just a... Uh... Okay, done. Cool. Now it's time to lock your targets on the hive and fire your primary weapons. Okay, lock that target. And also let's just orbit there and bish bash bosh. Like I can't actually see what I'm firing at, but you know. Don't rightly know what I'm actually attacking, but oh well. I'm doing it! After burn this off, I don't need you on. <laughs> finished a primary system survey of the Drifter Hive database. The place is like a slaughterhouse combined with a machine shop. Oh, gross. Bodies go in, machines come out. They produce thousands of seekers and we're building up the capacity to make millions. Now, I know the Drifter emergency isn't over, but I want you to know that your actions have saved countless lives. Really? This battle is over and the next begins. I consider it an honor to have you on my feet. What? what? Now, when the Hive core is finally breached, the explosion will be massive. I'm pulling back the fleet to a safe zone. I'm leaving you with the task of striking the death blow. Okay. This is a path to immortality, and you've earned it, Recruit. Really? The sacrifice of your body for the liberty of your friends will be remembered. On behalf of the Wait, Federation, what? as of now, I, Fleet Commander Cole Torrell, promote you to the grade of Naval Capsuleer of the Galente Federation and grant you full Capsuleer privileges under the ULI Convention. You've earned your immortality and independence, Capsuleer. It has been a privilege um. to work with an operative like you. We would not have accomplished what we did today if it uh, wasn't hello. for you. Welcome to immortality. Are you just straight up gonna leave me here to die? That is a dick move. Super dick move, man. Death is just the beginning. Well, that's that's nice. Okay. Uh, after that, go. Get me out of here. Oh dear. That's an objective. Okay. Ah, this thing is really going up. And I am deed. Oh dear. Congratulations, Captain. You have become an independent capsuleer. This means you will now earn your own way in the world of New Eden. Your mentor would not leave you empty-handed, though. There is a new mining ship in your redeemable items, with the necessary modules to use it successfully for mining operations. Okay. There is also a blueprint, so you can rebuild the ship you so nobly sacrificed in battle. Before really? I fully activate the ship to your command, I would like to leave you with one final suggestion. Go visit the career agents. As you progress so quickly through your training, you may still want to fine-tune your skills. The career agents are also a great way to earn more rewards. It has been a pleasure to guide you through this challenging process, Captain. Fly safe, Capsulia. Cool! You should collect all your rewards by checking your redeemable okay. items under the Neocom menu and inventory tab. You can move okay. those to your item hanger by selecting them and clicking redeem selected items. Cool. You will find your new ship in the ship hanger. Right click your new ship and select make active to board it. It is possible you have an old ship in your hangar. If so, you can activate that ship. 
Yeah, I don't actually have a mining ship. Like, where is that, uh... Where's that? Okay, what was that thing I just got? Linty Inception package? Uh... Info? Will I open this? Open? No. Thank you, been awarded for your selfless and remarkable actions on behalf of the Galente Federation. Its meticulously constructed strong box is hermetically sealed with a robust electronic locking mechanism, which provides a perfect level of internal preservation. Having compromised and sealed up devastating effects on the container, causing it to fully disintegrate. By that, the integrity of the items held within is retained to keep them safe for future use. Open the, open the container. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, what have we got? Two mining lasers, alright. Ah, venture. Alright, mining ship, nice. What are you? A salvager. And the incursor's blueprint, so I can make the ship, which is awesome. And a mining laser upgrade. Sick, now we can finally start mining, which is what I wanted to do. Okay, finish. Cool. Now, ah, there we go. So, uh, right, so what am I doing? Ah, make active. Make active. Where is make active? Where is make active? I click your new ship and select make active to board it. Not being really dense. Not actually in there. Little ship. Ah, there we go, make active. So I have to assemble it first. There we go, good. So Click on the highlighted Eve help icon in the Neocom and select Show Career Agents. Uh, help. Ah, oh, Show Career Agents, okay. Ooh, Take a look yeah. at the different career agents. Each career agent specializes in a certain field. When you've decided which interests you most, set destination to their location. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Probably more interested in that. Industry, because I want to go into mining! Do all the boring stuff that no one actually, well, no one, no one else wants to do. Yeah, sounds good. Yeah, so destination. Groovy. Once you've docked at the career agent station, you can contact them for further instructions. Okay, cool. I, uh... I will do that, but not right now, because I got to fit out this ship. So, item hanger, let's go... what's up here? Ah, so I can just make an incursus whenever I want. Very handy. So, mining laser. Uh, fit to active ship. Uh, fit to active ship. Do you mind it? Fit to active ship. Ah, uh, okay, so where is the fitting thing? So, fitting. We have an empty high slot. Interesting. Okay, cool. Now, uh, let's fit that too. Cool, cool. Why can't I fit that? It says, no free slots on the ship. Ah, uh, right, okay, so, uh, unfit that. Now, unfit that because the ship doesn't have any turret slots. Ah, so those take up those turret slots. Bear that in mind, okay. Turret slots represent how many weapons of a certain type can be fitted on a ship. Current design is over 100 years old. This is modular enough to allow for a great leeway in the fittings of various weaponry. Okay, but the salvager... Salvager does not take up a turret slot. 
I think they're showing fun. Okay, do 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 do. Mutes. Betting. That's a high power slot, so it's one of those. Okay. Hmm. I'm making you see if it requires if it is a turret or not. Let's have a look at that. Oh, okay, fine. Well, alright. Bit to active ship. Let's do it, because that can go in there for some reason. Right. Anything else? Are there any data analyzer? What does this actually do? Hmm. Okay, so that just hacks locks or security systems, I guess. Well, fair enough, fair enough. I don't think I'm going to need that for mining, he says. Completely not knowing if he'll need that for mining. Uh, can I reprocess that? Ooh. Ah, right, so it costs a bit, so I'm wondering if I can select all of those, reprocess all of those, and I will lose that much, but I will gain 2,000 Tritanium. Pretty cool. Yeah, reprocess. Gravy. Okay, okay. And stack everything together so it's nice and nice and uh, you know together. Uh, right. So, just having a bit of a look around. I'm actually uh, learning things, which is quite nice. So this is the venture, the first mining ship. Not bad. Drones. I don't have any drones. I wonder if I can buy some drones. Because at the moment I have zero offensive capabilities, none whatsoever. Hmm. Okay, so this is very cool. So I kept getting a load of money. Why am I getting money? What? Bao Bay, if you are one of the people watching my stream, thank you very much for the donation. Like, you really, wow, you really didn't have to, but that is awesome, thank you so much. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's awesome. Ah, right. I'll tell you what, let me have a look at... I'm talking to me in here. No, no private chats. Plex vault. Hmm. Okay, so no. So I know you can buy Plex for ISK in the market. So, you know, just out of interest. Let's just search for Plex. No? Nothing? Alright, never mind. None selling in here, apparently. Honestly, I have no idea how you actually do that, but I'll probably end up buying a subscription anyway. Later on, is there anything else I need to do? No? But one thing I am going to do is I am going to go to the loop. I'm going for a whiz. Right, I will see you guys in just a matter of minutes. I'll leave you with the uh, sultry sounds of docking in Eve. See you in a minute.
Alrighty, and we are back. MSU in chat says, Plex is found under pilot services in the market. Well, thanks for that, because I'm not, I don't think I'm, I'm not going to buy any now. I'm just interested to see how much Plex goes for, you know? So, pilot services. There it is, Plex. Ah, oh, right, right, yeah. Like, I don't even know how much, like, uh, I don't even know how much 10 plex would get you in game time, so that could either be a... I imagine that's a pretty bad deal when 150 are going for, you know... Or is that just them? No, that can't just be the NPC price. I don't think NPCs sold plex. Hmm. It's a lot. A lot of money. Interesting. Wow, this seems like a very good deal. This does that. Seems like a ludicrous deal, considering the price that I'm seeing for like much smaller quantities. This is the thing, I'm very new to the game, so I have uh, no idea how much you actually make. Or how much these are actually worth. You need 500, or need like 500 for a subscription. Oh, interesting, okay. Oh, right, so they're selling them just in blocks of 500, these guys a 1,000. So it, it looks like, which is just weird and arbitrary, no matter how much or how many Plex people are selling, they all seem to be around the uh, 3 million isk mark. Which is really weird, really weird. Oh, that's price per unit. Right, that suddenly makes a lot more sense. Okay, so one plex is 20, no, uh, 2.8 mil or 2 point whatever mil. It just that happens that these guys have this many that they're selling, so that would actually be like, well, a thousand would be like, you know, two billion. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Gotcha. Awesome. Well, that is interesting to know that that's how it works. And you say you need around 500 for a subscription. I'm sure I could look up the actual like number online somewhere, but right. So if you were to if you were to try and survive. Buying Plex in game, you have to be earning a fair old whack to be doing that. God, that seems like a lot. I imagine like own owners and like CEOs of the major corps like just raking enough money as it is, and I imagine like the higher level characters, high level players get in, get that in as well. So, well, good to know. Just interesting, really. So, um. I've selected the industry career agent because that's what I want to do first and foremost. I want to try out the going to cost about 1.2 billion a month using in-game ISK. That is a lot. It seems like if you're just doing it to do like playing the game to earn that, you're not really playing the game to do much else. Maybe. I don't know, because I've, I've met people who said, oh, this is pocket change, and they gave me a hundred million, so God knows how much people are actually earning in this game. So, right, I said I was going to go and talk to the industry career agent, because I want to start out fairly low risk, get used to the game, uh, get used to mining and stuff, build up some uh, isk of my own, build up an actual bank balance, and then... Uh, you know, progress from there, see if I want to go into a more PvP style thing, because, well, I mean, I'll have to if I want to get out of, um... <laughs> MSU, sounds like you are speaking from experience. <laughs> Man, yeah, I, I actually read that, like, the day before I started playing this, um, as I was interested how you earned uh, Plex in-game, and there were lots of horror stories, there's like, you, you it just... 
Just play the game. Don't worry about playing for a subscription. Buy a subscription. You are. It's not worth the time. It's like having a job, essentially. Right, so I'm going to go and undock and get on to uh, a little more module on the ship is offline. Maybe due to you not having all the skill requirements for operating the module. Modules have no functionality while offline penalties may still apply. Ah, okay, so let's see what I... Uh, uh, I'm guessing since this is uh, greyed out, can't actually use that yet, so... Show info. Requirements. Okay, so I've got mine through. Mining upgrades. I have seven minutes. Okay, what am I actually training at the moment? Mining four. And I've got this bad boy. Uh, mining, 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 mining. That is in. Come on, Richard. Uh, resource processor. Mining upgrades. Don't have the skill book. Out of interest. Let's just have a look. Oh, stop. Mining upgrade. Let's just have a look. Let's have a look. Skills. Mining upgrades. Okay, so NPC sells it for 80,000. That's not bad. I can actually afford that. I think I might get that. Buy it. Yep, buy it. Bosh, good. So, let's close that down. Regretting to makes just under 100 mil an hour. But it's tedious to and place your accounts. That's fair. That's fair. And I actually understand what ratting is. <laughs> I've been reading up on Eve, trying desperately to uh, get into the whole... Is it law? Because a lot of it is like player created, so I, I guess that's still law technically, you know? Um, right, you, I don't need you open. You, I don't need you open. What I need is my inventory. Um, do, 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 item hangar, mining upgrades. Inject skill. So I actually need to train Mining upgrades one, so what I'm going to do... Can I slot that in before here? I can. What, what? So, that's going to be done in like an hour or something. So until that is done, I'm going to take off... The... I'm going to take this off, so... I put online? No, because I don't have the uh, requirements. So, let's unfit that module. And where is that? That is back in my item hanger. Good, 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 good. Cool. Well, for now, I think that's about it. What I can do in here, I am training my necessary skills. And what's new in here? This is probably just me buying that thing. Groovy. Awesome. So, let's, let's go. Let's go, I guess. Or terminology. That's probably the more accurate the term to use, gate yes. Always have a yellow icon like the one below. Find this gate in the overview and Oops. jump through to move closer to your destination. You can also activate the autopilot to automatically warp and jump your ship towards your destination. While useful, the autopilot is not as fast as manually traveling from gate to gate. Really? Huh. Interesting. Right. So, destination is yellow. That's cool. Where am I going to go? Okay, so, why not? Autopilot. Go for it. Warping to Stargate. Warp drive active. Cool. Good. Old. So it's more terminology, the more it's partially affected by player events, but doesn't really impact gameplay. Fair enough, yeah. That's more like, you know, uh, corpse against corpse. That's very much the player-centric lore, but, you know, no real gameplay uh, impact. 
terminology has come from the player base, however, which can take a while to learn. Yes. Which is why I am trying to read up as much as I can uh, before I start like looking at joining a core. Because I don't, I, I, I'm going to be new no matter what I do. Oh, interesting. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, jump. Right. So, don't also pilot. Uh, balls. I don't have any afterburners. Warping directly to the gate and jumping manually is better. That's a good tip, and I'm very happy that you told me. Thank you very much, MSU. Seriously. Ugh. Because I know that time is one of the most valuable resources that a person can have in EVE. Sounds like uh, that's going fine. I also apologize if the uh, stream is juddery and stuff. I am running a very old machine. Uh, it was actually a gift from my brother-in-law, so uh, he made this PC years and years and years ago. Right, warp to within zero, and there we go. And uh, I need to upgrade the CPU. As far as I know, everything else is fine, and has been like upgraded over the years, but the CPU is old and needs. You know, some TLC. Um, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay at the moment. But um, earlier I was having super troubles. I think it was because um, I had... Okay, whoa. Now jump. Go on. There you are. Um, earlier I was having super troubles because I was having OBS both stream this and record it because I try and record the stream so I can upload them later to YouTube. Uh, not that I've actually done that yet. I have a backlog that I need to get through. Uh, let's go more. So I uh, restarted the stream just streaming and not recording. It's helped It's helped quite a lot, actually, but it still, you know, judders about a bit. And I am on the lowest settings uh, graphically in this, so... Yeah. Okay, and jump. You are not kidding. Doing this manually saves a lot of time. <laughs> God! Right, okay, so let's dock at the station, I guess. Dock, go. Drive uh, where are we going? Oh, cool, we're going straight into a planet. What are those? Pudge. It's stupid. What idea. I should have looked in there. Ah. <sighs> Good, uh, good, 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 good. Let's head up here. Get docking permission. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Bizarre. Find the career agent you are interested in working with in the agent section of the station services hey. and start a conversation with them. There you are. Move. Right there. Alright, fine. Go, start conversation. The career agent has offered you a mission. Accept it, and you will begin your chosen career path. Thanks. You are now in the good hands of the career agents. I suggest exploring different careers with their guidance. I will now enter standard operations mode as your ship's AI. Cool! Awesome! Nice! Red signatures are thing the red things are signatures you can probe down. Ah okay. So keep an eye out for those because they could be interesting. But probably not at the moment because I am 
the uh, newbest of news. What's this? Even places. A notification. I know that. Uh, delete that, I guess. Okay. I mean, this was flashing. I thought something would have thought something had happened. Journal. Right, this is where all the missions and stuff are put in. Okay. Gotcha. Right. So. Hoover right here. His picture's gone for some reason. Engine war never stops. To stoke it with raw materials. Want you to go mine some feldspar. Uploaded a location marker to your people and places databank. Oh, I guess that's what that was. Uh, agent missions. No, yes. Might be, might be intense. Just have, oh, I actually have to accept it. If I, I am being dense. I am being dense. <laughs> Okay. Okay, I've uploaded a location marker to your people and places data bank. Use it to find the asteroid field. Remember to fit a mining module. In mind that you might have to make more than one trip before you report back. Fine. Declining mission from a particular agent more than once every four hours may result in a loss of standing. Okay. Except in the case of special missions that clearly state otherwise in their description. Right, so standing is fairly important, I'm led to believe, so I want to keep these people happy. Okay, so, we can move to those molehills. I've got to acquire these goods. 1,000 Veldspar. Alright. Mind the Veldspar, transfer from your ore hole to your item hanger. Okay. And I assume that means do that here. Yeah, that would be here, fine. Uh, granted items. The following item will be granted to you when the mission is accepted. Another mining laser, fine, sure. Uh, rewards. Yeah, not too shabby. Bonus rewards. If you complete the rewards, uh, the mission within six hours. Hmm, so if I can do this nice and sharpish. Collateral. Following must be provided for you, by you as collateral. One isk. Alright, fine. Sure, sure, sure. Accept. Mission involves objectives requiring a total capacity of 100 cargo units, but your active ship only has space for 50. Yes, he said I would have to make more than one trip. That's fine. Accept. Cool. Cool. Okay, so what I want to do is out there. Um... Oh, let's go. Let's do it to it. I'm dark. Go, go, go. This is somewhat time sensitive now. Right, so, rip. Warp to location. Warp drive active. Oh. Nice. Whoosh. See back in there. Now, where are we going? Ah, up here, okay. So we got two salvage, uh, two, sorry, two mining lasers and one salvage. Now this only has two turret points, so I can only have the two mining lasers. If it sounds like I'm repeating myself, I'm just trying to get myself nice and familiar with everything. Okay, how are things going? We yeah. here? So, 
now uh, um, which location? Oh right, so I walked there, but I hadn't actually got there. Okay. So here I am. And then I go into mining. Stop, stop approaching, God. No, so, mine this asteroid. Where are you? Aha, there you are. Okay, good, 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 good. I am slowly getting this. Slowly. Lock that target. And, uh. Okay, so. Um. Hi. Cool. Why am I getting further away from this thing? Okay, so once that ticks round, I will start getting Feldspar, I assume. What's my ore hold? Nothing. I don't have any drones either at the moment. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <sighs> making all, all the mistakes now, so I try and avoid making them later. So, that's ticking round. How does it say if I get stuff? Ooh, ooh nice. Will do, buddy. Will do. How is my inventory done? How much feldspar do you want? One thousand feldspar. How much feldspar do I have? I have two thousand. Seems that I have a lot of feldspar. <laughs> well, that's good. At least I'm not uh, not drowning in everything. I think I tried to get into Eve. Like, they had a free month years ago, and I tried then, and I was just so utterly lost that... And I was so utterly lost that I just gave up then and there. God, that was, that was years ago. I can't even remember when it was. Okay, what we got? Is there a way to look at your current uh, journals? There we go. Nice. Cool. Well, I'm just gonna get as much as I can, I guess. I mean, I've got like four hours to get back to him. No. Yep. Yeah, just gonna get back in dark, I guess. Read them details, oh, so that's an easy way to get in here. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, I've got like five, six hours. It's terrible. The old cliff meme about the learning experience was real. Yeah, yeah, I think that was a problem. That was a problem when I first tried to get in. It's weird that a game like that survived, like, without stuff like streaming or stuff like uh, YouTube as big as a. Like, yeah, it's just weird to me that this game survived, even though it was so obtuse. 
or rather its controls were so obtuse, but I'm happy it did, because I'm actually looking forward to getting into this game more. I genuinely am, that is not me being facetious. Yeah, that'll do. <laughs> Uh, the miner's life. Now, do asteroids deplete, or are they kind of a permanent fixture that you can always go back to? That's a question. Sociopaths and masochists kept it going. I'm not even going to disagree with you. <laughs> I wasn't around back then, so uh, I can't. I mean, I'll bow to your experience. All right, magic go. Text. Ah, okay. Sorry, I've got a. Uh... Ah, right. Okay, so they do deplete the respawn. Because I was looking at all the other kinds of mining you can do, like, you know, gas uh, collecting and the ice mining that you can do. And, uh... Yes, Jacob, Thank you for coming back! Yeah, it's actually just quite chill, just sitting here shooting lasers at a rock. I mean, yeah, quite, quite happy with that. But I was just saying that, um... Uh... I moved from the UK to the States in October, and then I only moved to where I am now uh, in February. And a load of my stuff was, now a load of my stuff was, you know, just boxed up, shoved in the, shoved into my parents' garage, so that uh, it could eventually be shipped over when I got a place. And uh, so we've been waiting for that. When I got this place, we decided, yeah, it's good, good to go, so we'll get it shipped. And uh, it's finally making its way here. It's across the ocean, and uh, they're actually trying to contact me to uh, arrange a time, because they're actually going to deliver tomorrow. It's actually all finally happening, and I'm kind of freaked out about where the hell I'm going to put all this stuff. <laughs> but, uh, you know, baby steps. Get into mining as a career, and you'll find yourself getting a survey scanner, which shows you how much is remaining. That does sound very helpful, actually. I will probably want to do that, because I, th I think I want to start out just doing this. I think I'll just start doing this. But um, while this is going, I'm actually... Let me just move that in a bit. So I'll just put it there. Can I move this? Whoa, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, you can! Yes! Let me just put that down there! God, that's so much easier. We can extend this out a little bit, so it's not quite so smushed. There we go, that looks nice. But uh, right now, while this is going, I'm going to quickly call these guys to a range of time, and um, I'll be back in just a second. I'm just going to leave it playing, because I don't expect this conversation to take long, so I will see you guys in just a sec. Hello, Magnetic Medic. Welcome back. Thank you very much for coming. I'm just doing, like, the mining tutorial missions for the uh, the first agent missions you get. But I'll be back in a matter of minutes. See you in a bit.
Guarantee. There we go. Oh, that's all that real life nonsense sorted. Get yeah, this back on. How am I doing? Ah, good. Almost half full. Right. So, frustratingly, the only time they can actually deliver tomorrow is, uh, or when they'll be in the area, is 7 a.m. So, bizarre, going to be up then. Luckily, I work from home at the moment, so I'm not actually, like, you know, missing work. <sighs> oh, well. Well, I'm going to give... Okay, so it has an estimated price. That's quite nice. I wonder where it takes that from. Like an aggregate market price from like the last seven days or something? Okay. Let's fill. Oh, that would be help if. It would help if I could actually speak for one and if I actually. Uh, if I actually. Build it right. Okay, so what does Veldspar go for? Pretty cheap. Uh, what's that? Yeah, that looks about right. Generally, 1999, 1999, 1976. These guys are just giving it away. Whoa, Lord. Well, at least I'll be able to sell it. I'm sure someone will be able to use it. So I'm currently not in a corporation. Currently still looking. So this is just raw Veldspar. Okay, we got some buyers. Okay, so buyers. Interesting, interesting. Ooh, look at the price history. Okay, median day price, moving average, volume, okay. Ah, so that's a five day moving average, it's a 20 day moving average. Price is going up! Nice. Alright, so generally I want to sell them around these prices so that people will actually buy them. I want to oversell them, like, you know, 19.99. If people are buying them for 12, then why would they buy them for 19.99? It's, it's just a Veldspar, like it's not super Veldspar. Weird. My contact level's been modified. Sigmic, hello. Red. Ah, oh, right, okay, so, right. And clone activated. All fine, yes, because I did the tutorial mission and died, and I learned that death is just death in Eve, and it's not this big old tragic thing. Okay, let's just delete that, and I don't think I need that, delete that. So, contacts. Oh, nice, thank you, Sigmund. So you are, let me uh, just look in the old contacts. That's sick. Let's add as a contact. You say me as excellent standing. I'll do the same. Why not? Why not indeed? We are sick, Mac. Hello. Okay, so I've done that. Uh, delete that notification. I don't need that anymore. So, that's that. But I also noticed there was a Veldspar processor. Ah, so I can actually buy that at the place at Selenium. Gotcha. Magnetic Medic, you are sick, mate. I was trying to figure out who that was that gave me that other donation the other night. Dude, thank you so much. You are an absolute legend. Seriously, thank you a lot. Uh, I cannot believe how welcoming this community has been uh, since I started yesterday, really. Oh, and one thing I should do before it gets too dark is I'm going to turn the light on. So let me just 
over here, ignore the super squeaky old chair. Marsh. Yeah. I do actually have proper lighting, uh, but that is in the stuff that's being delivered tomorrow, so I haven't been able to set that up. Right, so good. I can get that. Now. Oh, Richard, compose yourself. Think about what you're actually trying to ask. Now, the question is, how do you process Feldspar? Now, I'm wondering if this guy's going to give me a mission that will tell me how to do that, because it's not just mining training. This guy's an industry uh, agent. So I assume he will teach me how to mine, process, uh, manufacture, all of that good stuff. So... Who knows? So, I assume, once you process it... Dense Feldspar, concentrated Feldspar, compressed Feldspar, which is worth a lot. Compressed dense Feldspar, and compressed concentrated Feldspar. Interesting. Hmm. So processing, I wonder what that gives you, dense or concentrated? We shall see. We shall see. Alright, how we... How are we doing these old, these these beauties? And twice the time. During this stream, I should actually finish uh, getting this mining upgrades uh, skill. So I'll actually be able to put in that mining laser upgrade uh, item onto the ship. So that'd be good. Oh, that's cool. You can highlight this and see what it's actually firing at. That's pretty cool. Learning things all the time. All the time learning. Oh dear, I'm apparently mining through my own ship to uh, get to this. Take care with buying skills as an alpha clone. You may not be able to train them. To expand the displayed results of the market, click the gear next to the search box. There you can set the distance, uncheck, show only. Now let's give that a go. Do it, do it, do it. So, let's just. Feldspar, why not? Do it, Feldspar. So, if I click. Oh no, that's that, so. Aha! Processing gives you minerals, aha, other types of belts fire from different rocks. The exception of compressed, which you need compression on anything. Right, okay, so processing belts fire will not give me a different belts fire. It will give me, you know, whatever that is. My industry knowledge is limited though. MSU, what do you do? What, what what do you do in EVE? Are you a uh, PvP ratter exclusively? Or are you a... Uh, I don't know. What else is there? There's exploring, there's industry, there's uh, being a merchant, there's, you know, ruling the market, and then there's your good old PvP, just get out there and gank some fools. So, uh, explain the display results at the market. Oh, click the gear next to the uh, search box. They can set the distance. Uncheck show. Which is doing fly when search is active. Oh, right. So cool. And if I go on here. Ah, right. Okay. So. Where did you come from? I know I'm doing great. I'm doing fantastic. I've got so much Veldspar. I'm going to fill myself up. And then I'll come back to you, okay? Move. Kind of getting a weird Guy Fieri vibe from this guy. You rightly know why. And it may be shocking to know that I've never actually watched any of Guy Fieri's shows, so maybe that's why. <laughs> okay, so on here you can... Skills. Okay, cool, cool. Show only that one. Right. Gotcha. <laughs> MSU lives to skill up. <laughs> you live to train. Okay, well that's cool.
Okay, so at there they go for around 11. So if I sell for, I don't know, 11.50, I'll see if anyone takes that. Wow, they have a dirt cheap around there. So what I should be doing is looking for, you know, where people are buying it for the most. So I'm seeing 13, actually, if I just go price. So yeah, 13, that's the highest people are buying it for at the moment. And they're selling it for all kinds of extortion prices. I feel like that is like an NPC price, I don't know why. Thousand? Who's selling this for a thousand? It's ludicrous. Ah. <sighs> So, 13 is the highest, but that's like five jumps away. Uncle Bazaar. No, I don't want info on that. I want info, uh, location, show info. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, I don't really need this. I kind of need to know location. Haha. <laughs> Roots. And where do you see what? I might be being really dense. How do you see, like, if it's null sec, high sec, low sec, any of that, any of that good stuff? What is our blueprint? Right. No, location, location, location. Location, location, location. If I look at the region. Description. Oh, good, you can just go back. Yeah, nice. Wait to solar systems, routes. Alright, fair enough. Okay, I'm almost full. I reckon this, this tick should get me full. And then I'll head back. Ah, sorry. My wife's talking about me on Facebook. Location, solar system. Okay. Let's open that bad boy up again. Now let's just get Veldspar back up. Veldspar. Vegemores. There, push. Location. Joe Info. Solar System. Oh, point eight. Oh, right, that's the, uh, that's it. Right, so yes, zero is null sec. That's fine. Point four to point one is low, and up to point five is high. Gotcha, so it's green, it's point eight, high sec. Cool. I wonder if it's worth... Eh. Let's say destination. Well, first, let's go complete this mission. So, I am utterly full. So, wish, bash, bosh. Go, dark. Warp drive active. Go, go, my friend. I who silver. Hey. Well, that is. Don't have any probes or anything yet, so I can't actually scan that. Okay, so that's how you know. That's how you know what sec you're in, or what sec security status. Status. Awesome. Well, here we are. So let's get uh, let's get the old docking permission. Docking permission requested. Come on, let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Yeah. Groovy. Awesome. Okay, so I'm wondering if this is just gonna... Ah, no, what I need to do is... I need to transfer... this from my ore hold into item hanger. I think that's what I needed to do. So, do, 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 do. 
transfer the bill for from your oil to your item hanger. Oh, hello. Hey. Mwah. Do you drink? Uh, yes, please. I just finished mine. Do you want more tea? Uh, no. What do we have more of? Fruit beers or squirts? Whichever we have more of. You alright? Yep. Yeah. Cool. Awesome, so that's done. Complete this mission. Yes! Yes! What? You could always have more squirts. You dirty mare! <laughs> My wife, everyone. Right, so, done. So, did that. Good, two of ten. Well done, my friend. I may have another task of you. Okay, so, good. I guess that just clears it. So I actually have to request my next mission. We have one squirt. Ah, really. Okay, we'll work these down. Thank you. Oh, I jumped on my spit. Nice. Uh, sorry, Meg, I, uh, I read your message too late. I will pass on your greetings. Uh, I'm sure she'll remember you from last night as you watched us, you know, create this Aphrodite-like beauty up here. Well, I don't know how to get a bigger picture of her than here, so, you know. Okay, so you've got to line that to the right on the right. Cool, cool. Interesting. So that's in there, that's all done. So, request mission. Ah, there we go. Just the thing you want. Let's move on to the next stage in the process. Go out there, find any asteroid belt, mines in Velspar. You'll need at least 100 units. Then reprocess it here at the station and give me the results. If you succeed, I'll give you a new mining frigate. You just give me a ship. What? Declining a mission? Yes, I, I know. Um, so, just... Oh, so... Yeah, so you... Process it into... Titanium. Accept. Yeah, sure, I'll do that. Mad. I mean, I have 150 Tritanium on me, but I kind of want to try processing this. So, how do I process? Reprocess? That doesn't seem right. How's my uh, mining upgrades going? 23 minutes, cool. So, that'd be interesting. Put that back in the old hold. Reprocess? I don't know what to do. The details. Okay, so. Yeah, reprocess. Okay, fine. Um, can I split this? I don't really want to reprocess all of my Veldspar. But I guess I have to. <laughs> Alright, fine. Um, first, let's put you back in the item hangar. I don't need you in there. Taking up space on the ship. Process, I guess. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, that's a lot. But surely you can break up the stacks. There's got to be a way. left click, right click, no, hmm, left click and drag to where? Why being dense again, <laughs> sorry. I was right, I was right. So hold, left click, Drag. Is 
does not appear to be working. Ah, shift! Shift! I'm not, I not. completely missed the shift. <laughs> awesome. So, shift. Drag. Gotcha. Okay, so let's just reprocess that 100 for the mission. So, reprocess. Okay, done. I have my tritanium. Um, you. Oops. Read L details. Okay. Okay, so I've done that. So, complete mission. Happy days! Good work. Stick around. Let's keep going. Well, I got another venture. Ooh. Well, I've got a spare, so that's nice. <sighs> Again, guys, thank you for your help and for being so patient. Uh, I don't know if this is infuriating to watch a uh, noob scout like me make all these mistakes, or if it's kind of endearing in a kind of watching a helpless puppy pour at a door kind of way. But regardless, thank you again for sticking around and for your help. Right, so, uh, next mission. You, my friend, there's always something. Next stage in the industrial process is building something. I want you to give me two civilian afterburners. Oh, awesome, I can make afterburners. Okay, how do you do it? You mind nearby asteroids and reprocess the results, for instance, although if you end up buying them from someone else, I'd appreciate it if you at least repackage them first. Okay, so. Okay, so I need to find the blueprints for a civilian afterburner. I don't think I have the blueprints for that at the moment. So, accept. Ooh, one expanded cargo hold? Very nice. Okay, accept, yes. So, you minimize. Where does that go? Oh, sick. Oh, awesome. It's Project Discovery. What? What is this? Uh, minimize. I'm not dealing with that right now. Not dealing with that right now. Okay, so you can power them ship upgrades. Oh, so they, uh, right. Sure. <laughs> new bro. New bro. Get the terminology right, Richard. New bro. Very amusing to see more people playing. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Uh, what's in my journal? Okay, so fine, journal is just, you know, upgrading with that. That was my wallet doing. Okay, cool. God, I'm getting some fair old mission rewards, quite happy with those. Okay, so... Uh, I don't really need that open. No, what was I doing? Read the details. Ooh, excuse me, I should not be, uh... Oh, excuse me, I should not be drinking root beer on a stream, but no. I'm thirsty for root beer. Something you don't really get back in England. Only in very weird select places, like my... My mum noticed it at a garden centre, and she brought a few cans for me one time. I was like, where'd you get a garden centre? Hey, does this look okay for tomorrow? Yeah, I thought that was cute. Nice. Is that for um, brunch? A brunch. Yeah, that is that is a that is a sweet brunch outfit. <laughs> oh man. Okay. So what am I doing? Civilian afterburners. Okay. And it's good that hey, MSU is learning about industry. <laughs> it's a learning experience for all of us. So market. I can just go here, so... Do, 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 do. Afterburner... So, I don't want skills, I want this bad boy. No, I think it was just the 
one MN afterburner, wasn't it? Oops. Ah, it's already, uh, it's already out. Bish bash bosh, shove that up there, shove that up there. It is the one MN afterburner, so. Okay, bog standard price. Um, it's a ways away. Kind of want to be able to make it myself. Project Discovery is a nice project. He works together with Science Lab. Oh, no way! Oh, I didn't know what that was there. <laughs> I'm so impressed, I lost the use of my mouth. Oh, checking your inventory for a blueprint from that agent. Uh, <laughs> inventory, item hanger. You've given me the blueprint, I don't even have to buy it. I'm an idiot. Thank you, MSU. <laughs> Oh dear. I didn't even know he'd given it to me. Because I don't read, apparently. Granted items, right there. Only gives me two runs? Hmm, interesting. Alright, well. So, do, 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 use. So, what do we need to, uh, come on, hop in here. What do I need? Ah, titanium. So I need two of these, so I actually need two. Oh yeah, sorry Meg, I kind of just blanket uh, and links in chat. Seems to be a fairly good practice. Because, I know, I've seen other streams with a lot of bad shit in the chat. So, it's not a personal slight, it's just kind of a blanket thing. But yeah, that, um, the thing where you help examine, like, human cell samples and stuff. I, I'd read about other things that did it, I had no idea that it was in this game. None. That's really cool. <laughs> I'm actually really excited about that. Okay, so, I only have 57 Tritanium. So what I need to do is close that one. Let's split off some more of this. I said split off some more of this. Uh, oh, let's split off a thousand. And let's reprocess that bad boy. Reprocess. Bish bash bosh. Awesome. Now I've got plenty of tritanium to make myself some... Afterburns. Use blueprint. Bring up the old manufacturing. Good, good, good. I want... So, no. oh, now has the runs remaining up there to, okay, E Project Discovery, I actually will, I'm actually going to do that right now, so E Project Discovery, hmm, that's really cool, that's awesome. Just, just reading through it at the moment. Uh, don't, sorry, just got absolutely sidetracked. That's really cool. I'm really happy that they've done that. That's, I'm, I'm genuinely happy that they've done that. Awesome. So let's uh, let's just get this going. Go, 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 go. So that is going to take nine minutes. Wow. Hmm. All right, we got nine minutes to kill. Okay, you, or you, just you know, busy myself with a few little things. Yeah, I assume no one's actually buying the uh, little afterburners because you know you can just. Oh no! Wait. Um, out of interest, what do these sell for? We want civilian afterburner. Ah, there it is. Gosh. Hmm. People are trying to sell these for exorbitant prices when, like, they're super easy to make, so I don't understand why people would even try and sell them for these kind of prices. I mean, that, that, that is obviously just a trap for new people, but why when there's this buyer's window down here? Like, that's not gonna. Uh, 
<laughs> no worry, MSU. Thank you very much for tuning in. Thank you, seriously. So uh, have fun ratting, if that's what you're doing, or just, you know, good killing people. <laughs> I'll see you in a bit, man. Yeah, so it seems that they go for, you know, that much. How much does Tritanium go for? Out of interest. Search, de search, search. Tritanium. 1.32. Oh, okay. Interesting. Maybe it's just filled spot. Oh, wait. I don't want any blueprints. Yeah, clear. Okay, so Tritanium. Okay, so now about filled spa. What's the kind of filled spa? I thought that's what I had. Feldspar, I am a fool. Feldspar. So, how much does Feldspar go for? So, that's going for like, you know, at the most, 4.3 isk per unit. But Feldspar goes for a lot more. Hmm. That's interesting. So I was, I was, really modules are pretty worthless, worth, worthless, these modules are just for tutorial use, fair enough, yeah. But I was good, I was right not to uh, convert all of my Veldspar to Tritanium, because I could sell Veldspar for a lot more, like four times the price. So that's, that's interesting, that's good to know. Cool. I'm actually really happy about that. Okay, cool. Close, 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 close. What was I doing? Where is the industry? There it is. Alt S. Alright, five and a bit minutes. What can we do in five and a bit minutes? There you are. Let's see if I can completely lag out this stream. I'm a fool. Thanks, Mac. <laughs> <laughs> That should not amuse me that much. That should not amuse me that much. Well played, sir. Well played. Uh, mm, look at that lovely low texture ship. Mm, that's the good stuff. Let's see if I can completely lag out the uh, stream and check out the captain's quarters. Uh, prepare for the stream to take an absolute diving quality. Uh, oh, come on. You can do it. I'm kind of flicking between the screen to see when... Okay, it's loaded. I'm just waiting to see it pop up on the actual stream now. Okay. Ah, oh, there she is. This godlike beauty. You know, for low texture and everything, it's not actually that bad. It's not great, don't get me wrong. Uh, oh god, I can see it loading in the stream now. I'm just, I'm just waiting to see it uh, chug along as I just move the character. Oh no, oh no, this was a bad idea. Bad, a bad idea. Back to the ship hangar. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, mental note. Captain's quarters. Try and avoid that. Ugh. Can I fly around in here? No. No, I can't. Okay. Oh well, that's no idea. What's that? Can I see you back there? Okay. That's kind of annoying. Like, I got five. Ooh, I've been added as a contact. Hello? A Zender Lay! Ah, MSU! I know you're just going AFK, but that's fine. Thank you for adding me as a contact. Okay, Zender Lay. Do -do -do -do. Hang on, I've been added as a contact with neutral standing, that's fine. Yeah. 
So let's uh, add contact, neutral standing, add contact, bish bash bosh, dun dun dun, delete, I don't need that, happy days. What's this? This is the map. Map beta. Was there not a map before? How did people get around? Right, so, yeah, my wallet's changed, I know. What's that say? No, right, okay, fine, I don't know. Psh, psh, psh. Don't need to know all that. Okay. Yeah, it's really annoying because. I've got like two and a half minutes to wait. It's not long enough for me to like go away and do some mining. I might as well just sit here and wait for it to be done. The thing is, I don't really have much else to uh, to busy myself with in the meantime. Because at the moment, I'm just sticking on the industry path at the moment. I don't want to get too involved in too much else. Go to customization. Oh, so you can actually. Why not look at the store? New Eden store. Yeah, why not? Oh. Um, I'm alright without ship skins at the moment. Why don't you go in the apparel? Hey. Hmm. Interesting. Oops. Yeah, that's what I wanted. So. Uh, female. Female it is. What am I looking for? And they're showing the... Oh, tattoos! Those are pretty badass. Oh, you buy these with Plex? Oof. That kind of sucks. I mean, yeah, you can buy Plex, but... Like, in-game, but... I don't know, man. I'd have to see if there's anything that absolutely really really catches my eye. Like, that did, but I, I'm not sure. What else we got down here? Some tight pants. A disgusting coat. Like, what is that? Ugh. Women of the future, I weep for you. What have we got? Okay, some fairly standard jackets. Some, you know, Mass Effect-like stuff. Tights? Okay, fine. Good to know they still use tights in whatever year this is supposed to be set in. A uh, little, little mini skirt? It's not a mini skirt, it's a business skirt. Below the knee, there's absolutely an office skirt. Uh, boots aren't bad. Ooh, look at those heels. Wow! That's quite cool. Quite cool. That is insane, and I love it. Uh, I also quite like that. And then you've just got the, like, you know, standard material ones. Okay, these are okay. Sanctity. We call it Sanctity because that sank past her titties. But I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> Jeez. Move it on. <laughs> Hmm, <laughs> moving on. Oh, okay. Yeah, not too sure about that one. Hmm. Oh, is this a romper? They say it's a dress. I don't know, man. That looks like a romper with legs. And they're all the rage right now. I mean, oof. don't get me wrong. Get a romper in here and we'll be all, all over that shit. Give the men rompers. That's, that's a thing now. Well, I say now, but, you know, Uncle Phil was rocking a romper back in Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, so don't be thinking it's a new thing. Ooh. Ooh, cybernetic arms. Now that's very nice. You see, out of all of this, this is probably the only thing I would actually get. And then I don't know which one I'd have. Hmm. Really, I'm just wasting time while something is being built. Okay, so if I look in here, is that going to give me any other things that I didn't see? Yes? No? 
No. Oh, right, yeah, and the men's stuff. I don't need men's stuff. I have a fierce princess who's thrown off the shackles of uh, her upper class life to become a capsuleer. That's the, you know, in universe RP thing I'm going with. But nothing I really want to buy at the moment. I don't even have any plaques. So, industry, how are we doing? Come on. That must have. Hey, there we go, deliver. Happy days. Good. Now, where did that go? Is that in the item hanger? Happy days. Let's open you. Complete that mission. Yeah, he wants two. Sorry, I was just reading through and thinking, like, did he only want one? No, I'm still reading things wrong. Complete the mission. Go. What? What? And we got one expanded cargo hold, so that's nice. Let's open that up. And I can fit it to the active ship right away, which is awesome. But the question is, is it active? It is active. Nice. Oh, no, wait. Let me fit the module. Oh, lame. I only have one low slot. So I either need... Oh, so... Skill training completed. Well, that was awesome. Because uh, I'm actually talking about that now. Because I have... Uh, just close this. I'll open you in a bit. Where's my inventory? There it is. So I have this... Wait, where's... Where's my mining upgrade? Is that back at the other place? Do I leave that mining upgrade back at the other bloody... Hang on, does... Does the item hanger not come with you? Am I being dead when you go to another... Uh, Station, maybe. Or did I somehow get rid of it? Well, either way, I've got this expanded cargo hold, and then I have an increased um, uh, mining cargo expander. Just works for your cargo hanger. Doesn't change the ore hanger. Right. Well, that's a pain. You're useless to me. I mean, you're not useless. It's nice to have, but uh, I guess I guess I'd have to go back to like my home base and see if the see if that um, mining upgrade is back there. It's kind of annoying. Now the question is. Where was that? And how do I get back there? No, there's sheep insurance. How much is it to... How much is it to insure? Selected ship will be insured for 12 weeks. Contract will... No? Like, I don't know how much insurance costs. Assets in the Neocom, ha 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 Assets, where are you? Inventory. Personal assets. Gotcha. Ah. Gotcha, right. And there you are. So I need to go back to... System, uh, I can just set destination and go there. Awesome. Thank you again, Meg. Once again, you are a gentleman, you are a scholar. Right. I'm actually going to do that. I'm actually going to... Uh, hang on. Is his quest time-specific, time-sensitive? Okay. Okay, and there's a fight for their bounty. I'm sending you to mine an area infested with rogue drones, so-called. So... 
Acquire these goods. 7,000 Tritanium. Destroy the rogue drones and mine the Veiled Spar for your agent. You need to reprocess the ore into minerals when you return to the station. Following rewards. Like, how do I destroy the drones? Like, I don't actually have any weapons. Hmm. Sort by jumps. So the station you're on is displayed at the top. Gosh. Sort by jumps. Thank you. Again, thank you. Awesome. Now, the only thing is, like... Like, how am I going to survive? How am I going to kill these drones? Do mining lasers do damage? Because I don't think they do. I don't think they do based on um, this. <laughs> Zero offense. One of these mid slots, and these are rig slots. What I'd really like are some drones. That would be nice. And I'm checking, he's not giving me anything to help me with this, so... Okay, so that's still a thing that I can do. Um, what's going on in here? Nothing. Okay, so one in gel. Okay, and that's my wallet doing. Wallet's doing fine. Okay. Okay, mark it. If you can use drones, the Venture has a drone hangar. I did train uh, in drones, so I can actually have two, technically. Because I knew that there's one reason why I chose uh, the... Uh, right, we come back shit, kill the rats, return to Maya. Makes sense. But uh, that's why I chose a Galenti... Uh, race, because I knew that they had access to drones. So, da, 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 drone, a look. No, close, drones, okay. Hmm. I have mining drones. Kinda wanted some like, you know, Fighting drones. That'd be nice. Ooh, augmented mining drones. Jesus. What's that? Interesting. So, civilian mining drones. Bench can only take two light drones. And unfortunately, there's no combat drones. No show in fact. Yeah, right. I'll use that. Finding drone operation. Ah. Don't actually use drones. That's a pain in the ass. Well, balls, so I guess I can't use drones. Right, so I'm gonna need... I'm going to need... A fighter. Unfortunately, I don't have another fighting ship. No way, yes I do. 
Let me load Corvette. Would that be enough? Oh, I don't know. What have we got here? And this venture, and I have another venture, so that's not particularly helpful. Okay, either way, I'm going to have to go back here. So I'm going to go back to this place. No, do, 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 set destination. Okay, I'm done. Ah, okay. I'm an idiot. Yeah, next search for Uncheck show available. Ah, so then it will show all drones. All the drones ever. Gotcha. Okay. Okay, so I want to go to there. Current destination, yes. I want, I, I wish to go to there. Thank you. Oh, you found them. Mm -hmm. Nice. Where were they? In the closet by the bathroom. Ah, okay. Nice. We got some uh, Star Trek stamps a while back and we were wondering where they'd gone. Couldn't find them. Nice. Okay, so. Do, 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 Okay, so I'm not 100%. Oh, right. Okay, right. Sorry. Gotcha. Warp drive active. I was trying to figure out how this works. So that is that, and then in the middle is a letter, and then that. So it's destination, constellation, region. Right, okay. Okay. Slowly getting to grips with this. Either way, I'm going back to um, Sistuvert. Oh, derp. How did I not... Is it still on? Still on mining. I am a, I am a fool. I was wondering why it wasn't appearing. Yeah, there it is. Oh, no, warp there. Warp drive active. Go, go, go. I'll see if there are any, uh, I'll see what drones are available, or, you know, I'll uncheck show available in the market and see what, see, you know, what drones there are. Okay, cool. Jump. Bosh. And smash up me through space. Nice. Cargo container. What was that? Um, is that someone else's cargo container? I'm just going to leave that. I'm, I'm going to go, you know, I'm just going to go to where I need to go. I'm staying well away from whatever that is. It's yellow though, so I was wondering like, is that something I need? Is it part of some quest I'm not actually tracking at the moment that I got somewhere? No idea. Yellow container or X me, not yours! Haha, <laughs> that's what I was worried about. And that is why I left it alone. Because I do not want to get in trouble with the police in Isaac. <laughs> that is a, a bad time. Awesome, there we go. So, Doc. Drive active. Right. Okay. Just hop on back down here. Ho-hum, ho-hum. Or 
almost there. Almost. 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 Ta-da! Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. There we go. Yeah, let's jump in here. So, since that cargo uh, update, or the cargo capacity increase is like not actually going to help me much for my mining, I'm going to get that mining. Uh, Gonna get that mining increase. Item hang, here we go. Mining laser upgrade. Du -du -du -du. Fit to active ship. And I should. Yes, it's actually active. There it is. Nice. Increases the yield on mining lasers, but causes them to use more, more CPU. Yeah. Nice. Awesome. Happy days. Good. Right. Hmm. So, I have this. I do have that, but... I don't have any guns. Guns I do not have. Multi-fit. Interesting. That oh, show info. Okay, what have I got on here at the moment? Okay, so I got that, but nothing. I actually have nothing on it. So I need to. Oh right dear! First of all, let's clear that so I can actually go on here. Bosh! Untick show only available. There we go. So, now if I search for drone... Still only mining drones. Hmm. No, it's, no, don't need that. Don't need that. Ship equipment? No, 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 no. Blueprints? Oh, good. Oh, so you can actually just buy things to make your own drones. That's interesting. Hmm. Stasis drone. I will drone one blueprint. Nice. Salvage drone one. Do, 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 do. Interesting. You got the match my skills or so active? Ooh, that's a good question. I think I do, 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 do. What's over here? No? Hmm. Uh, I don't have anything uh, checked on those, so I'm not filtering anything. Oh, the range filter is only this station. So if I bump that up to region... Okay, so drones. Seriously? I bumped up to region? Hmm. There is a mystery afoot. They've got rid of all damaging drones. Okay, there's nothing I'm doing stupid here, is there? So, no, no, no. My region is the biggest thing. I'm not showing only available. What if I just go into drones now? Combat drones. Right. Sentry drones. Hmm. Interesting. Well, it's not like I can actually control drones because, you know, they don't actually have mining drone operation. Oh, mining drone operation. Hmm. 
I can this back out. We need some sort of okay, hang on, let's uh let's shove drone in here. Okay. That's just for mining drones. Oh, hang on, hang on. Fighters. I need light fighters. Oh, good lord. I don't think I need fighters. I need combat drones, combat utility drones. Okay, hang on. Drones come now. I think that's what I need. First, have another look. Make sure, yeah, I'm pretty sure I need combat drones. Look, scout drones? Hmm. That of interest. Well, that's adorable. Look at that little guy. <laughs> Bless. Info. Ah, right. My drone operation. Where is that? Contracts. No, 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 no. Not drone operation. Light scout drones, hobgoblin, hobgoblin, info requirements, hobgoblin, info requirements, light drone operation one. And I need drones three. Ah, so I need to train up drones three. Interesting. Interesting. Where's that? Light drone operation. Drone. Is it just not available to me at all? Oops, uh, oh, 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 oh. God, I've got too many windows open. Let's close this. I don't need that open. Go away. So, you... Watch. Ah, ah, ha, ha. Okay, so... In order to get light drone operation one, I need to train two drones three. Right. Okay. Thank you. Sorry. Yes, thank you for explaining that to me. I'm gonna... Right, so I need to train drones three. So... Oh, right. That's quite handy. But, uh... I need that. Oops. I need to join Necromongers. That is from... Okay, Necromongers are from the um, most recent, no, not the most recent, but the Chronicles of Riddick film. That was before the most recent one. So, drones. Drones. Now, frustratingly, room four. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yep, just chuck off that last one. I don't need that at the moment. Good. Cool. So, drone three. That's going to take about seven hours. Then mining four, which is fine. So once I do that, uh, light drone operation... Can't. So that's actually now appeared, which is awesome. Happy days. And then medium drone operation, which is. Huh. I guess I'll just get light drones first. 
I can actually level light drones up more than medium drones, so we might as well stick into that for now. Okay, well that's seven hours away, so it's not really going to solve problems now. So what I think I'm going to do... I need to be able to make some guns. Or I can just buy some guns. Okay, so... I think it was just Gatling guns I had last time. So let's go. Really? One T? Yes, it was! Okay, Gatling Railgun. Gatling Auto Cannon. Gatling Pulse Laser. Interesting. No, I think it was the Gatling Railgun. Really? Okay, is anyone just selling the, uh... Yeah. For extortionate prices. Yeah, this is why people sell for extortionate prices. Uh, it appears as available. We need to buy the skill book and inject it. When to use drones and hybrids. Hmm. Okay, so. Wow, that's expensive. Wow, that's also expensive. I mean, I just I just had one of these. Hmm. Those four jumps away. That's kind of doing. But really, no one's got the blueprints for that. Interesting. Wow! <laughs> okay, so hybrids are divided into blaster, two damage range, and rail guns. Low damage but outstanding range. So, what if I just go rail? So that's just the bog standard railgun, I guess. And there's the Gatling railgun. Which is what I was looking at before. Okay, hybrids are divided into blasters and railguns. Okay, so drones and hybrids. So drones is good, it's good that I'm actually studying that, which is nice. Let's just open this again. Yeah, I will need the skill book for light drone operations, so. I'll look that up in a bit as well, but for now... Oh, my buns! Oh, God, this chair! Hmm. It's a bit much. Okay, info. This... this guy. Hi, power slot. Okay, fine, 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 fine. I think I might just buy some of these. No, oh, I didn't want to... Who's that? Come on, Richard. Sort it out. Hmm. Yeah. Make it yourself. But I think I might just push with one of these. The letter's back on the way to uh, the other place. That's quite nice. Hmm. Okay, let me look at my node of channels infantry. So fitting. It has two high power slots, so I'll put two Gatling guns in those. To get the right size, I recommend not using the search in the beginning. You know, ship equipment, weapons, turrets, hybrid small. Aha! Okay. That. Close you. Close you. So. Clear this. So. Ship equipment. Do do do. 
turrets? Hybrid turrets? Ah, uh, ha, ha, okay, so real guns, small. Right, awesome. Like those. Okay, so what are do? Ah, okay, so I just want to make this a little bigger so I can see some names. Names of stuff. Where'd you go? I just threw it in here for some reason. Okay, there you go. Hmm. Carbide real gun. Interesting. Now the question is... Ooh, prototype gorse gun. Very expensive. Press call, also very expensive. Carbide rim. Pretty expensive. We <laughs> just get two of these. Time is five seconds. Let's go right there. Okay. Both level. Oh, don't want to do that. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Bigger the caliber, the slower the tracking, for a lower chance to hit smaller targets. Faster. Don't know what was going on with CCP when they did not give them caliber, but stupid fucking names that say nothing about tracking. Nice. Okay, so. Bigger caliber harder to track. So I think I've started out with just uh, bog standard like uh, that's it, the Gatling railgun. Very standard railgun. That is kind of a step up. Bigger caliber so tracking is less. But it's, you know, it's harder to track more targets. I think I might just get two of these just so I can do this mission. Both need ammo hybrid small antimatter. Hmm. Okay. Where do you see how much ammo you have? Oops. Doable items? No, just like check. Uh, yeah, yeah, I've got those. Industry. Antimatter, small. Antimatter, small charge. Okay. Interesting. Wow. Interesting. That's just interesting reading up on this stuff. So, yeah, where do you see how much ammo you have? Like, I would charge it in this. Uh, gold.
Interesting. Okay, let's just leave the ammo alone for a bit. Mm, guns for tutorial sakes don't need ammo. No, right, so buy some ammo, load your guns, store ammo to reload in ship's cargo. <laughs> right, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Right, I'm gonna buy two of these bad boys. And now I'm getting absolutely uh, shafted on the price. I buy these from here? Or two. What happens if you buy something that jumps away? Do you have to go pick it up? Why do I? Why do I imagine that you have to pick it up? That'd be in. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Yeah, well, I'm gonna play it safe. I'm just gonna get the ones from here, so I don't have to go anywhere. Two of them. No, it's not that much, but off the regional average, that's okay. Oh, itch. Um, okay. Why not? Bye. Bye, bye, bye. Yeah, bar should go. Got them. Happy days. Uh, inventory. Hang on. Show info soon. It's hybrid charge types, so antimatter. So antimatter charges. Antimatter charge small. Okay, cool. So let's go back in here. Ammunition charges. Okay. I need hybrid charges. Um, I'm going the wrong way around, that's why. There we go. Like an E fitting window. The top of your display ship is a box to enter simulation mode. You can fit your ship. Ah, right, so. I'll tell you, let me close that for now, and let me close that. So, fitting window. Okay, so, so for one, I, I don't want that one, because I need a fighter. So at the moment, really all I have is this bad boy, so. Okay, assemble the ship. Make active. Cool. Happy days. Okay, I can close this. So, fitting. So, I have a miner and a civilian Gatling railgun. Bye. Cool. Um, I'm going to take off the miner. An afterburner there. Okay, modules and charges. Ha <laughs> ha, hello. Uh, 
Oh, right, so here you can actually see what you need. Well, that is fantastic. Okay, okay, that's awesome. So, doop doop, let's move that over there. Looks right above your ship. I'm done being stupid, aren't I? I'm missing something obvious. What's that? Attributes. Oh, right, so that's what that is. Charges. Ha! Okay, so that's what charges I need. Okay. No, you're not in simulation mode. Um. Right. Where is simulation mode? I, I can't see a box above my ship. I'm just going to have a quick glance over these. No, 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 no. Okay, how do I get in simulation mode, mate? Just having a look through, look down all of these. Oh, that's nice, it's just down there. Resource loading. Just chip your wallet. Alright, yeah, fine. Ah, okay, so, open fitting. Fitting. Then... Aha, into simulation mode. Right. Okay, so, I am in simulation mode. So, this me inventory. Right, so. that on there. So, what's this? Mm, okay, right. Everything from here on is simulated, so you don't need or buy any components. Okay. So ammo goes in one of these, goes in a high slot. Hmm. Okay, so then what I would do, I'd put that would remove the civilian one in this bad boy. 
And then the ammo goes in there. Okay. Hmm. All right, all right, fair enough. I don't really have anything else, unfortunately. Left side, you can choose between holes. Oh, wow, so you can just try out all kinds of shit. Fair enough. And the hard way, you can choose between modules and the charges. Right, right. Gotcha. Ooh. Yes, I think that's all I can really do. You can also right click the center and strip the ship to restart a completely empty ship. Yeah, I saw, um, oh wait, hang on. Yeah, strip fitting. Oof. Remove all modules from your ship. New no, I'm okay with that. So I've got this afterburner, that's fine. Now I've got this Gatling, or Gatling railgun. And this ammo. Okay. Well, if I exit simulation, right? Okay, so yeah, naturally, anything you do in here is lost when you go out of the simulation. So I think that's what I want to do to this so I can actually. No, wait, hang on. No, oh, I wanted a. Um... Or I did used to have a repair module. Well, let me have a look. Do 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 do. Repair paste. Okay. Do do do. No, I look at modules. Modules is what I want. No, 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 no. Engineering equipment. No. Remote no. armor repairers? Ah, yeah, that's what I had before, wasn't it? Hmm. Small coaxial compact remote armor repairer. Okay, how are these different? Okay, that makes sense. So, 56 new points repaired. And what about this bad boy? No oh, wait, is that the one I was looking at? What about the Solace Scoot? 56. Okay. Ah, yes, yeah. None fit in there. Okay, so this little ditty one, what does that do? 56. Activation time duration is 3 seconds. Okay, hang on. Three seconds, fifty-six. Why are all of these... Why do all of these do exactly the same stuff? Okay, that one's less. That's 49 HP. But this... 115... 56... Ah, right, okay. So, yeah, at the moment it's just, uh... Okay, there we go. I didn't want to... The yeah, I was filtered by that. Okay, hell restrictions. Ah, there it is. Yep. 
But if I click that, I'll get everything. But I kind of want to know what I can actually fit on this. So I want a hull repair. I want a small one. Um, I guess this one, maybe, possibly. Yeah. One that's fitting all the attributes. It doesn't require anything. I think that's fine. Okay, attributes. How do you do? 25 HP. That's not that much. Okay, so that is... 27,000. That's only one. Oof. Hmm. But I guess that one's probably the best I can get for this little boy. Yep. I managed to figure that out luckily before you, uh, before you swooped in to save me again. <laughs> Okay, so I guess I need a small hull repair of one if I want to be happy. So I just, so what I need, uh, what I'm going to do is I will fit one of my Gatling guns on here, put the ammo in there. Uh, it's already got the civilian afterburner. I'm going to go buy one of these. So view market details. 90,000, woof. Well, I mean, I have the money. Got it, bye. Yes, good. Happy days. Clues. And then I will... Yeah, there you go. That goes up in there. Cool. I think that's okay. What goes in a low slot? What does go in a low slot? Anything interesting? Weapon upgrades. There are some bays. Weapon upgrades. Ah, right. Okay, so. And we can put like tracking enhancers and stuff down there. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So that's actually really handy to look at this. So, exit simulation. Yes, that's fine. So, what I want to do remove that. In here. Let's put one of these on. And... One of these. Good. Now I need to go and buy. Why didn't I do that same buying thing I did with, uh, with that? Okay, let's get to the market. Hybrid charges. Standard antimatter charge. Oh, good. It's nice and cheap. Ooh, nice. Cool. 1548. Yeah, I'll have you buy this. I will buy... Oh, no. You know, it's 200. Mm -hmm. You need an armor repairer. Shield on the hole, yep. Oh, bugger. I thought I got the armor one. Oh, well, can't, so cancel this before I do anything else. So, what's that? That's a hole up there. Well, let's unfit you. I can sell you if I need to. Damn. So. Armor oh, repairer. I need a small armor repairer. There you are. Okay, so. Ha! Nice, I will buy one of these. Buy one, buy. <sighs> As I said, it's all a learning curve and I'm wasting money doing it, which is really dumb. Small armor repairer, there we go. So you get on there. Ah, you live down there. Good. Happy days. Oh. I'm going to shove that on there if I really need it. Ah, recharge rate is insufficient, so take that off. Hmm, that's annoying. Okay, if I get rid of that. Uh, great. 
Okay, fine. Um, we've got this rail gun. What if I just remove that? No? Okay, so let me shove that back on. Take that off. Okay, so the capacitor... Capacitor is sustainable for 45 seconds. That is not great. That is not good. Why do I only have this crap ship? I don't. How much is it to build this? Just have interest. What do I need? Because I could be... I'm probably being an absolute idiot about it, so... Literary Noxium? Oh, these are all very expensive things. Okay, so I'm not going to be making myself one of these. Okay, let's, uh, let's just close that. I'm not going to be ma making myself any curses. I mean, thank you for the blueprint, but really, you've left me with this. Hmm. Vague rule for tanking. Mid slots are for shield tanking, low slots for armor. Okay, fair enough. So, armor, shield. Okay. So is this an issue? This seems bad. Recharge rate is insufficient to sustain modules indefinitely. I'll flow with that. Stable. Right, so. Uh, Okay, close this. Oops. Antimatter charge. I need some antimatter. I'm gonna buy some antimatter charges. I'm just gonna buy 20 for now. That's 20 lots of 200. That's like 4,000. Seems like I would need more, so I'm gonna buy... No. 100? Ah, high slots of modules that go to the outside. Weapons, remote shield repair, makes sense. Mid slots are your shields, propulsion and e -war. And low is armor, damage multiplies. Okay, cool. Okay, so let me just buy some ammo. So I've got ammo. At the very least. Now, the question is, will fitting this ammo... Oh. Okay, cool. Now that's stable. Happy days. Now the annoying thing is, I also want... Uh, I want an armor repair. But, I have an armor repair. I'm going to throw caution to the wind, just take that off and go for it. If I can take these guys out. Seems like a bad idea, but... Hmm. Not repair in most cases is not... ...stable. It just activates it if needed to micromanage your cap. Okay, that makes sense. So I'll sh shove it on. I'm not going to leave it on, am I? So, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Fine, he says, probably going out to his doom. Okay, fine. What time is it? Oh, it's actually time to end this. It's time to end the stream. I spent too much time farting around trying to put this thing together and learning. Well, I suppose that's not bad time spent learning, so. Hmm. Don't apologize. It's good to see it all laid out. So that's actually very helpful. And Eve is ridiculously complex, but I'm slowly getting a grip on it. Slowly getting a grip on it. So I'm actually happy that this is going so well. Unfortunately, it is time to call the stream there. I'm sorry. But, uh, yeah. Guys, thank you for joining me on the stream. If you want to give a follow, go for it. No obligation at all. 
But thank you to Mag, Magnetic Medic, who's... Dude, you are an absolute godsend right now. Thank you for explaining everything. And uh, also to MSU, Familia, thank you for sticking around and giving me some help. Uh, and there's one more. Jcom. Good to see you again. So thank you to everyone who uh, is helping me out with this game. Seriously, it is very, very, very helpful. I'm super thankful for people helping me. Otherwise I would be lost, frustrated, and they would just not be your time. So thank you guys. I will see you. My next stream is going to be... Ah, no worries. Uh, my next stream is going to be next Tuesday anyway. I just stream Tuesday and Thursday at the moment because I'm trying to, you know... I have a job and stuff, and I'm trying not to burn myself out on this. If I like it more, I'll start streaming more. But next stream, Tuesday, 7 p.m. Uh, Eastern Time, 11 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time. So, see you guys then. Bye.